There was a question from someone about decisions. You make decisions from this place, not from worries, not from because I don't want, which is conditional underlying fear. You make a decision from your totality of now. From this totality of now, you make a decision. You, you do need to maybe, if, if you want to use some functions such as discernment or consideration of pluses, minuses, to see how everything aligns, you can kind of open up this quantum computer in front of you and, and you know, put the pluses, minuses and see, okay, you can look into the future. And you make a decision from this place, looking into, into the possibilities, probabilities, and future dynamics, timelines, and so on, without fear, more realistically, more groundedly. So your decisions become better overall because they're not influenced by fears, fantasies, and, and something which is unhealthy. Or, or avoidances from the place of fear. You may lose an opportunity if you are functioning from fear. You may not make a right decision if you are resisting something or avoiding something because maybe it is something maybe a bit challenging, but it is something very important and special that will unfold for you. And beautiful too. So decision-making is much more grounded and much more deeper, much more intelligent overall. And who makes decisions? So that was the other part of the question, who decides? Is it the soul or you know, who makes decisions? You make decisions, you. <laughs> In, with your totality of now, with your totality of now, whatever is now, that way you make a decision. And sometimes, yes, if you are meditating and something lands to you, maybe you feel something light and blissful and it lands and it's like, oh, yes, that's what I should do. Maybe that was from your soul in that moment. Other moment, you're sitting down and you feel, ah, this is what I was avoiding in the past, but now it feels I can do it. So you make a decision from this larger capacity. So whatever is a circumstance, you will always make better decisions from your totality of you. And, and ultimately, if we use a non-dual language, the self makes decisions, but again, with the totality of what is now. If you're, if you're um, imagining or idealizing that, oh, now God is going to make all decisions for me and it's going to be the most pure and, and the most wise ever decision. Um, this is also idealization. Yes, sometimes it, it does land like this if you're aligned to that. So it is your totality of who you are now. And if you have worked through many cycles and have aligned yourself to the higher domains, to the higher divine domains and so on, if you have done the job, which I call advancement, if you have done this job, then you already are that. You already done this job. You have made already many decisions to arrive to this point. So who makes decisions? The totality of now, of who, of what is now. And, but you have this more clarity, yes? You have more clarity to see that this is fear. I should make a decision with the fear. Anxiety, I should not make a decision now because anxiety is functioning. Maybe I'll, I'll wait until it goes away. 
if you feel something is unclear, you don't make a decision because there's a little unclarity, but you see the unclarity and, and you're okay. You, okay, I'm going to just wait now because something is a bit unclear and little time passes by and oh, now it's clear. Oh, this is the decision to make. So this is the seeing. You see what is here now clearly fear, anxiety, confusion, or, or, or so on, or peacefulness. And from this place, you make a decision. Who makes a decision? Well, you, you are made of everything. You are made of, of, of this body, of this mind, of this energy, these emotions, these energy fields, the soul, whatever is here now, that is what is here now. Whatever is aligned, whatever is functioning now. And, and therefore, we can say that now makes a decision. Whatever is now makes that decision. And of course, you have gained wisdom. You have gained experiences of the past. But you clean those uh, conditions, those anxieties and and resistances and avoidances and so on denials you clean up those bits so then you know that you will make better decisions and and therefore something bigger is present which is the openness the seeing and now it can align things more harmoniously to move forward more harmoniously sometimes in this idealized way of who makes a decision. Like if you wish that that you know the the, the beautiful divine being will always <laughs> tell you what to do, well, first of all, you would recognize that duality. You would recognize that maybe this divine being is telling you something or not. But again, you would make a decision, isn't it? So if you see Buddha or Krishna or Jesus or whomever, whatever you resonate with, comes up to give you a message, you still need to make that decision. You make your choices. And sometimes you may receive a message. You may feel that, oh, this is what I should do. But considering the present circumstances, it might be super difficult. And, and sometimes it's even impossible because this world is so conditional. You know, we had COVID, just, just you know, this situation around the world. And you, you just can't travel because you know, that became a reality at that time. Now we can, yes. But so even if you receive this beautiful guidance, but maybe you can't do it now because some crazy stuff is going on around. So, and it's okay, you know that, okay, this, this is the message, but right now it's not really possible. And then you just wait until the right time or wait until the next time that the opportunity will come back again. And maybe then it, you can do it. So if somebody else gives you advice, yeah, any other person or being can only give you advice but you make choice you make your choice you make your decision so i hope this clarifies to all of you yeah you can get advice from anybody physical non-physical it's an advice and and ultimately you make a decision now who is you well the totality of now whatever you feel most that is you, and in full consciousness, you feel that this openness is you, this whole thing is you right now. So that's in terms of making choices or decisions.